understand, Bo. Now you're supposed to run and tag someone. Oh, I get it.
Orson, you've got to let me have a peanut. Just one peanut. We don't have any more, Roy. That was the entire harvest. I've got to have a peanut. Got to. Roy was just a shell of his former self. In fact, if you held him up to your ear, you could hear the ocean. Hey, surf's up, man. Roy even went to take a nap, trying to get his mind off peanuts. Oh, the peanuts. Salted. Salted delicious peanuts. He was so desperate for one, he had a fully choreographed, orchestrated dream sequence. Those lovely, luscious, round, delicious free peanuts are driving me out of my mind. The smell. The taste. It's a sin to waste any peanut morsel I might find. Those blended, roasted, salted, and exalted peanuts are driving me around the band. It's easy to see that these peanuts and me need to get together again. Oh, keep the other stuff. I just want to eat peanuts. I can't get enough. It's a passion I can't fight. I know it's not a pretty sight, but I've got peanuts on the brain. If I don't get one quick, or at least a salty lick, I'll go allegorically, even mandatorily, categorically insane. following a trail of peanut shells. I followed it straight to my brothers. I decided to confront them, a move which will henceforth be known as mistake number one. You guys stole our peanuts. We stole your peanuts. Uh, well, maybe stole is too harsh a word. You, you guys, don't help. Let's play Nutcracker, brother. Wade heard my yells for help and did what he does best. Get help! Stop! I'm getting out of here. Both Orson's brothers are making peanut butter with him, chunky style. They stole all the peanuts. You got him, huh? Like, this would be a cinch, man. Uh, peanuts? I really 